On this episode of Hill City Happenings, we learn more information about cellular reed technology and how it will impact our citizens' water usage. Also, we open new books and learn about programs offered through the public library as well as a new renovation plan. Coming up next. Are you looking for a convenient way on how you can stay informed about your water usage? The city of Lynchburg is transitioning to cellular reed technology. Lynchburg Water Resources has contracted with Bitter Creek Construction to upgrade current meters to cellular reed water meters. Crews will now receive meter data on a daily basis and will be able to notify you of a possible leak right away. This new technology will allow you to be more informed about how much water you are using. You will be notified via mail when your meter is upgraded. You can sign up for our own water before your meter is transitioned to check your monthly water meter reading. For more information about this project, visit lynchburgva.gov. On the home page under Departments, click Water Resources. Under Customers, click Sell Your Read Meters. Here you can find all the information that is available to you. The Lynchburg Public Library is a hub for the citizens in the community and offers plenty of programs and resources. Let's talk to Ms. Beverly Blair about some of these resources and to learn more information about the upcoming renovation plan. The library has a really great diverse offering of programs that we provide. Everything from events, so um, programs that children can come attend with their families, teen programming and adult programming. Um, those are happening all the time weekly, especially children's programs. We do a big um, push to do programming for children birth through age five, so early literacy programming before they go to school. Um, but you know, in a typical week, you'll see all kinds of events. Um, there's something for everyone. We have book clubs, we have craft programs, we have chess club, we have gaming programs, we have authors that come in and give talks. Just a really wide variety of programming. Um, but the other thing the library provides is just basic services, so a lot of people come to the library for different things and we are here to meet a variety of needs for people, so that might be a book related. You know, we do have books here, so a lot of people will come in and look for a book to read. They might need a book suggestion, um, but they might need to do basic research. They might need to access a database to learn a new language. Uh, we have veteran services online that we have pr provided through databases, um, homework help assistance job searching databases. Um, a lot of our services are provided from the Library of Virginia. So they are databases provided by the state that can access a bunch of services in-house. Um, we also just try to meet the needs of people when they come to us. So uh, we kind of see ourselves as a community hub of information and knowledge. You know, the library is just a super welcoming, safe place. And it kind of, I like to call it your community's living room. You know. Um, we just want people to feel welcome here and come in to see us. Um, and, you know, a lot of people don't know where to go in Lynchburg to find services. So some people will come to the library and we try to connect them with services in the city. We have some really great uh, fall events we're super excited about. So um, October is Fire Safety Awareness Month. Um, there is a week in October that we will partner with the fire department to have a really cool children's program all about fire safety and fire awareness. And the fire department comes to us and they bring some, a fire truck, uh, but they also come to our story time and it's super fun. We did it last year. That's this, this month um, in October. Uh, we're also partnering with the airport uh, to do airport day at the library, which we're really excited about. Uh, this is a new program, so we're going to highlight all the things about our cool local airport. Um, the airport staff are going to be with us. We're going to learn about airports, what they look like, uh, what you're going to expect when you go fly for the first time, or if you've never flown out of Lynchburg. Uh, we're going to have really cool things to give away to kids. Um, it is a family program. Um, we can have a free book for every family that attends. We're going to have cool snacks that you get on an airplane. So we're super excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and we also have a Halloween program. Um, we do a big trick or treat every year in the fall. Um, so that is close to Halloween and it's in the evening. So kids after school can come and uh, trick or treat in the library, wear their costumes, 
eat food, do fun um, activities, and have snacks and stuff. Super excited about this project. We've been uh, several years now um, working with an architect to um, for the opportunity to have a full building renovation for the main library here on Memorial Avenue. So the, the renovation plans to address a couple needs. Um, one is infrastructure. The building needs some attention. Um, so it's going to meet some of the building needs, HVAC, uh, you know, just helping us with lighting and different building functionalities. Also, our technology um, capabilities will be expanded, um, but it will also kind of modernize our library. So the 21st century library user expects different things than what our library houses currently. So it'll have more meeting room spaces so that people can gather here and connect more. Those meeting room spaces will have technology available for people to use. Um, There'll be a maker space, a digital media lab. There'll be more programming spaces for kids, so dedicated rooms for that. Uh, we're gonna have a new meeting room space that is open and available for the community to use. Um, just a lot of a better lighting, better seating, um, just a really exciting opportunity to kind of revitalize the library for, for Lynchburg. I think a lot of people don't know that we are connected to the Library of Virginia and you can get to so many really cool resources through the databases we provide from the Library of Virginia. So there, there are a lot of learning um, initiatives going on with homework and um, job searching, but then if you just want to take a class, you know, a lot of us are trying to um, educate ourselves and learn new skills. We have platforms that you can learn new skills on and that's all for free. You know, you do need a library card. Library cards are free for everyone. It doesn't matter if you live in Lynchburg or not. Um, so you can get a library card and get access to those resources. You can do those things at home as well, so you don't just have to be in the library. Um, we also don't have overdue fines anymore, and that's a really big thing now. So I feel like it's easier and more accessible now to, to come into the library. Um, we want you to return your books, we need you to return your books, but we don't want to penalize people for being a little late on that. We know that life happens, so there are no overdue fines to prevent you from coming here. Um, I think people don't know about our programs. I think they don't know that we, we offer a lot of children's programs, we always have, and we're super proud of that, but we also offer programs for adults. So we're here doing crafts for them, we have book clubs. Currently we have three book clubs. If you like nonfiction, we have a nonfiction book club. If you like fiction, we have a fiction book club. Uh, we have a book club that meets downtown. Um, so just a lot of other, other types of programs. Um, we also have a downtown branch library. I don't think a lot of people know about that. It's in City Hall. Um, it's a smaller library, but we're there every day, Monday through Friday. Um, and we really love getting out in the community. We love visiting schools. We love going to neighborhood events. Um, we like going to Day in the Park every year. So we're really trying to get out more and we would love to come you know, partner with other organizations and get the library more visible. We want to get out and see people. Well, that wraps up this episode. Till next time, I'm your host Shaquille Cook and this is Hill City Happenings.